All right, hope everyone's right. I'm just going to continuing through this, and I'll just see where things land. Like, if nothing else, they have the benefit of time, because, like, you know, the more episodes this is, like, stretched out across, the, like, more it's probably going to help their cause. Like, if we have to see Ken Wing basically, like, every single Digidestin back, like, one by one, like, and, you know, this is the episode where he wins Cody over or whatever, then, ah, jeez, ass realized. Like, okay, Davis just immediately believes him because he's an idiot who wants to see the good people. And Yo Lee obviously had a crush on him, so, you know, of course she's gonna want to see the good in him. Yo Lee's the only one here who can be, like, a legit naysayer on, like, the issue, right? And, like, the throughout Cody is he's an unreliable idiot, as we've established, who's just very stubborn about his ideals, and he, like, doesn't really know what the right thing to do is, you know? He's very principled to a fault, and that makes him make very wrong decisions at times. So, yeah. We may end up with a very realistic situation, where, like, all of them just agree to have Ken join them, and none of it feels well-earned, just because of what these characters actually are. Ugh, jeez. Like... So I won't imagine for a second, like... What if we did the series and, like, Yoli just never had a crush on Ken, right? That would, like, immediately improve this setup, I believe. That would make this feel way more earned. But, whatever, I can't just sit here discussing all day. We have to, like, you know, move forward in time eventually. Alright, so starting the episode off in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, Tara's a little bit ahead, but it's fine. I'll tell you who I don't trust. I don't trust that white-haired lady. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, she admitted to herself she was wrong? Well, I guess she was wrong about him. Well, I don't know. Was she really? Was she really wrong, actually? Because, uh, let's think this through for a second. She saw him murder a Digimon. And at the end of the day, they still murdered a Digimon. The only thing she was wrong about is that murder is always a bad thing. Because, <laughs> like... I guess she was around thinking it was a real Digimon, but that doesn't really change the situation much, does it? <laughs> no. Moral of the story, murder is fine sometimes. Done. Wrapped. Put it up there. You know what? To be fair, a cab has always been the moral of the story, hasn't it? Cause like, yeah. We did exactly talk Devimon down with kindness, did we? Like, he was Cav being a big evil threat and we had to stop him. Oh, man. Yeah. I just know that she's up to no good, and I think he might be in her way. Yeah, that one's probably gonna be a villain. At least no one will ever say you think small. Wait, what? Have a good point. Just trying to help. Yeah. Touch it. It's pure evil. They're my creation. But even okay. I don't understand how Aru Kenimon can take one of my control spires. And somehow turn it into a Digimon. Okay, this is a good I scene. When I was the Digimon this is good to have. This sort of thing, but nothing makes sense to me now. Earth to Ken. Yeah. You're a genius. I'm sure you'll figure it out. 
Thanks, pal. You know, I do like that we're seeing that it's like, you know, Ken's like trying to reconcile with this. Like, this is a problem he's created and he acknowledges it. Don't. As the Digimon Emperor, I was a genius. Now I'm just playing Ken. Wait, what? Yeah, as far as you're concerned, but what about the digital world? I hope they're not implying he actually got an intelligence boost from the evil. I hope that's more metaphorical when he says, like, oh, why well, is a Digimon Emperor as a genius, right? Like, as in, yo, know, he thought he understood everything and now he doesn't. Not as in, like, he's actually dumber now. And why didn't you talk to them before becoming the Digimon Emperor? It had to be easier than building control spires. Excellent question. Where am I? Yeah. All right. If you can't figure out how they work, then I'll just have to knock them all down. Yeah. Dirty enough. Of course it is. What do you mean by that anyway? Don't you think I know what I'm doing? You said it. Yeah, okay. If it is what we were all thinking. Hey, that rock slide thing wasn't my fault. It was Flame Drummond's. Was not. Was too. Was not. Was too. Was not. Wait, what? No, it's neither of your faults. The rock slide just happened by like. Are you talking about the Tortamon incident? The Digiworlds are deliciously destroyed, too. What's this? A split end? How did this happen? Intolerable. Ugh. What? That's enough. Now split ends? But your power involves, like, ripping out your hair. Why are you worried about split ends? Well, I don't know, I guess that could be kind of partially. Oh, hey, Metaramon. Didn't know you showed up in this series. So, I don't know if I've seen this episode or not. It may start seeming familiar a bit, but I definitely don't remember any of the context. Are, are they really going to blow up the dam again? Are they going straight for the same dam? I... Sure. If they're gonna blow up the same dam twice, that'd be kind of interesting. Yeah. Wait, Earthquake Drill? Wait, it's a drill? Huh. I thought it was like a gun arm. I don't know what's making like drill noises. Oh, that was. Yo, know, so. <laughs> the expression. <laughs> I don't know why that expression didn't match that like voice line at all. Voice acting's just a bit off on that one. Oh my god, I could just lift him up! Yeah, alright. Hey, Kari, can't you just digivolve your Digimon to effing ultimate? Shouldn't this be like, no- Wait, why are- No, just digivolve to ultimate. TK, you could do this too, you know. I... sure. Alright. Also, yeah, before, why don't you just digivolve to- Cause there's like, there's no control spire around. We've established this. There's no reason why you can't. Yeah, we killed the guy. Yeah, we tried. Yeah. All you have to rebuild Parva Bridge now. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm not sure how Ken like. Sure, he's in our sub hands, no, but I'm just not we're talking about the bridge, right? I think it's too risky. You got a point. 
but I have a good feeling about him, Cody. Really? But why, Davis? The Digi. Yeah. If you had seen what I saw, you'd believe in him too. I mean, his crest of kindness turned into a golden Digi egg. It was okay. So the Digi egg really is the crest of kindness confirmed. That's. I don't know how that exactly works, but that's very weird. It was asking me to go ahead and trust him. I know that's not very logical, but then again, neither am I. All I know is he has to have the crest of kindness for a reason. Yeah, I knew think that, but you can have the wrong kind of kindness. We've established this. Like Ty definitely had the wrong kind of courage when he made Skull Greymon. Yeah. Oh, I'm bored and all this talk isn't getting us anywhere. Don't forget. All right, you know what? Can't have scratch what I said before, but because like at least if nothing else, What's TK that? can be the voice of like you know, like pessimism here, right? He can be the voice that challenges his kin, hopefully. And uh, I feel like that'd be pretty fitting. Like if TK's the foul say on this, really. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, we're my These spires you built up splinters? Wait, what? You see, you're still a genius. Let's have ice cream Sundays in the park. That does sound good, but would you settle for half a jelly roll at home? Yummy. Yeah, yo, if Warbots could play about walking around, it'd be nice to see Kid carrying him a bit. Like, I'd believe he could do it. Wormon don't seem that heavy. Wait, what? I mean explode, you know, boom. Wait, but, but it doesn't have a power source. The crest of kindness. I bet it's because Ken's crest isn't there anymore. What? I don't care what anyone says. We need Ken's help and we need it now. But Davis, shouldn't we talk about this? We just did. Yeah. Yeah, in this situation, you kind of need him. Me too. Let's save the rest for later. What's wrong? Yeah. My, my, my. Now, is Wait, what? Too domestic. You again. Oh, please, Ken, don't talk to her. Did I come at a bad time? Oh, well, I'll be going. Bye bye. No, wait. You're All right, so. What's your deal? What do you want? Because you're the one who keeps calling me. What do you want with me? Yeah, all right. There we go. What do you want with me? Maybe. Then why are you bothering me? What do you plan to do to the digital world? Why, Ken? What a nosy little boy you are. That's really none of your business, now, is it? <laughs> you know, I could have appreciate a villain who's just like, oh, you want me to tell you my plan? Well, screw off. Control spires. My grief. Asian. My shame. You think rather well of yourself, little boy emperor. Did Kin not oh, invent the control I spire? When I could have used my awesome powers for good. Hmm, telephone. Oh, Ken? Oh, yes, you're so special. <sighs> what now? The truth is, any pretty little boy would have been as good. You used me. Of course I did, you little fool. Yeah. Temper. Temper. Okay. But you always were so easy to manipulate. The perfect toy. Oh, I meant to say tool. And you thought building the control spires was your idea. Huh. What are you talking about? I can't take this anymore. Yeah, did he not make them? Itchy Georgie residence. I'm sorry, Ken's busy right now. Oh my god, Vermont answering the epic phone. Are you the operator? No, I'm the Digimon. May I help? <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. Oh, this is adorable. I'm not an operator, I'm a Digimon. <laughs> Yeah. There's nothing you can 
She's she's can't go away with everything. Yeah, she's trying to keep you distracted. No, don't stay distracted. Okay. Alright, so the crest isn't the power source. All right. Do you think maybe we should all move back a little? Yeah, this is kind of a situation. You're thinking too much again. That's because I have to find a way to end this. She used my pain and guilt to control me. I didn't mean it. I'm guilty. Oh, we're just pushing this all on her now. Like, you still made the choice. You have to take responsibility. Okay. Maybe Ken sent his secretary instead. You children are all so terribly rude, always interfering in my business. Spirit Needle! Uh, five? Okay. Sure, why- oh. Alright, I forgot they got this- oh, Kugelmon. Alright. Yeah. You know what, that'll do it. Like, that's a justification to have ultimates. Like, sure, we can blast the ring off of all these things, but can we actually fight one of them? That's the question. Wait, is this where the fusion happens? Hang on. It, it can't be this early, can it? There's no way it'd be that early. Okay. Wow, this is going pretty well for a freaking ultimate. <laughs> Wait, why can't you become Angelomon? No, seriously, why can't you? Like, why can't Pamon become Magna Angelomon? I. They've never explained this. This is a pretty huge glaring detail right now. So I've been watching like the sub and the dub versions. There's no explanation of this so far. Because we clearly see in like, you know, like the movies and stuff that it's like, you know, yeah, Ty definitely can turn Agron into War Greymon. So I'm not sure why they can't do it here of all places. Like, if Telmon can become, like, you know, effing Mega Kabuterimon, then Pavon can become Magda Angemon. Like, I'd assume there's no reason why I can't. Okay. Oh, we're finally getting the transformation sequence. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> the big spot. Wait, did it disappear for a second? Okay, weird. Yeah. Wait, why are you winded? You play soccer. You're like a pro at it. What you think you're doing, Davis? Saving the world. Wait, what? This is my responsibility. I don't want anyone Just, else to get hurt because geez, of me. Just stop, kid. Are you nuts? 
I know you're a stupid kid, but still. Like, you can't do this on your own. You know what? At least it's not... Yeah. At least it's not like, yo, Ken's just this faultless thing, right? Like, his fault is he doesn't understand, like, the dangers. Like, he's trying to bear all of it on himself. And that's supposed to push everyone else to be like, no, nah, you have to join us, right? You have to be on the same side. But at the same time, it's like, he hasn't really done anything to earn it yet. There we go. It would be nice if that had a slap sound effect, though. Yeah. That's what I said. You're the genius, Ken. You figure it out. If I'm not here, then what? Davis is right. Then what? Who will you fix your mistakes if you're not here? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I know that much. Hmm. Right. I guess neither of us has been thinking very clearly. Okay, so you messed up a few times. You think I haven't? I do it all the time. Don't give up. Yeah. I don't know how. Do you think I do? You just keep trying to <laughs> Do you think Davis knows anything? <laughs> Look who you're talking to, man. Great, so what if you don't happen to have any friends? <sighs> Alright. This is kind of what I was like hoping we'd get a bit of like yo. Just someone just being like, oh hey Ken. Actually, take responsibility, you idiot. Okay, we do get the fusion. I... Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it's this soon. Also, yeah, that's CG. <laughs> okay. So I've never been a huge fan of Pyhildron's design, but I can at least, like, respect what they're going for. Honestly, Dalbimon's way better. Like, he really is. Will the combined power of Xvimon and Stigmon be enough to stop Okuamon? I don't know, will it? Probably. <laughs> but still. Alright, well, this came a lot sooner than I expected. Uh, so yeah, this is... This is honestly like a lot of what I was kind of hoping we'd get out of this, I think. I feel like, you know, when we get to the sub version of this episode, like, that's gonna work way better. Like, you know, since we can, like, just cut through some of these dubisms and stuff and, you know, just really just get to, like, you know, like, a closer translation of what this is right now, right? Because, like, I feel like the sub's not gonna hold as many punches back. Like, I feel like we've seen that again and again, really. So, yeah, like, I don't know, I feel like they're going a good direction at least, right? Like, this, you know, there's been some stumbles, it's been a bit messy, it hasn't been perfect, but they're, I don't know, it seems like they're moving a direction where it's like, maybe they'll stick the landing. Maybe this plotline really is going to, like, come through after all, like, honestly, like, realistically, like, I feel like I kind of have seen worse done in, like, less, like, good ways. And, uh, I don't know if that really works out, but yeah. Like, because one of the places my mind's going right now is, like, Vegeta and Dragon Ball, right? Because he just shows up, he's, like, murdering plants, he's, like, blowing people up and stuff, you know, he's, like, just killing his own men. And by the end of it, it's just sort of like, oh, okay, yeah, he's willing to sacrifice himself for the world and stuff, and, you know? Like, by that point, it's like, all right, yeah, and get behind this character. So, hopefully that just sort of, like, works out.